Welcome back to Rick's Reflections, where we take a look at the upcoming Sunday Gospel reading and see how it applies to our lives today. Well, this Sunday is the second Sunday of Easter. That's right. Easter continues, and it will for a while. Jesus appears to his apostles for the first time post-resurrection altogether. They're hunkered down in an upstairs room because they're afraid of the Jews. They're hunted. And so when Jesus comes in their midst, he gives them peace. And he says, peace be with you. Now, here's something very interesting. Jesus says, in the way that the Father sent me, so I send you. And then he gives them the Holy Spirit. Now, if we think about this for just a second, I always thought, growing up Catholic, that the Holy Spirit was for me. Because we receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit, we receive the fruits of the Holy Spirit, it helps us to gain knowledge and wisdom, uh, have more love. And But what's interesting is, Jesus says, in the same way that God sent me, the Father sent me, so I send you. And then gives him the Holy Spirit. So what really is the Holy Spirit for? Yes, to guide, to guide us for sure but more so to bring people to the kingdom. How often are we praying to the Holy Spirit that God would show us people in our lives that really need him? That God would allow for conversations for us to have with those people. And that through the Holy Spirit would give us the words of wisdom or even just a listening ear to the people who need it the most. Ultimately, for their conversion and ultimately for them to come to heaven. That is why we have the Holy Spirit, and that is the power of the Holy Spirit. And in the same way that the Father sent the Son, so the Son sends you. Thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to seeing you next time on Rick's Reflections.